Jamie in the uh, 59, and of course Johnny Bow sitting behind the wheel of car number 11. But it's not Bow; it's Cameron driving. He started. Oh, we've got a big brake lock up. Oh, it looks like uh, car number 70 there may have went into the back of Shannon Banks coming in the hell corner for the, uh, well, for the second time uh, under full racing conditions. And also have a look at the battle between Scott Cameron and Ryan Hansford as they come up the straight. Looks like the HQ Holden, though, will have the, uh, the power in a straight line. So Johnny Bow will be waiting to jump into this car at... Uh in a very short number of laps. I don't know how the boys, I see that the Paul Morris pit crew has gone out with a, a lap board. So they'll be, uh, I can't see too many other lap boards down there. The guys I don't think brought lap boards. And of course, no radio communication between these cars. But it is David Kelleher and John Agosta. And John Agosta was very successful here last year, even though he damaged the car badly, showed how fast he can drive got the car repaired and there's a Gemini diving up the inside unbelievable that is the Brian Smallwood car diving up the inside of one of the QEs they're a lot more nimble through the corners and under brakes but maybe lacking a little bit of speed coming down the straight but Agosta is now right behind David Geller Kelleher Jamie Finesse won't go away in car 59 he knows his way around here we'll hand this car over to the very accomplished Gary Bonwick now, yeah. Smallwood had some good times yesterday he in qualifying, did. so uh, we can expect him to really get after these front three. But at the moment, Tez, they have got away a bit as we go off Brock's skyline. Yeah, you can throw a blanket over these three cars now as they make their way under the RC bridge for the uh, the second time in the full racing conditions. And uh, Johnny Gosta definitely had the pace up the mountain and over the top, but let's see what Callagher can do coming down the mountain. But at the moment, looks like he can't shake him. Finesse gets a little bit sideways there coming out of the dipper as they make their way into Falcon Elbow. Bobby, that was impressive how the drivers 4th, 5th, 6th closed up that gap at Brock Skyline because it was a lot more obvious just a moment ago. Yes, but uh, Johnny Bow will be very happy if uh, Scotty Cameron keeps this car in position. Uh, it is now to step into the car in 4th position. So that And John Bow was very quick yesterday in this car. But isn't that a great sight to see all those QEs coming down there, <laughs> nose to tail, coming down. Conrod Strait coming down to Caltex Chase. And here's the Gemini having that little battle. That is small in the car. That car backed into the wall yesterday. They had quite a bit of damage, but they repaired it. Big move up the inside. Is it going to come off? No, it did not come off. So no change at the front. It is still Kelleher over to Gosta. Jamie Finesse rubbing uh, his front bar on the rear of Augusta's car. So he's letting him know there. Look at him two-wheeling through this corner. Yeah, Unbelievable. classic HQ racing at its greatest as they come down into McGuire's corner. Johnny Gosta there had to go a little bit defensive as Finesse uh, but may have uh, went for a move up the inside. Augusta gets a great run out of Maguire's corner, though. He may just have the pace to... Uh, Possibly put a nose up the inside here at Hell Corner, but there's still about half a car length between those two guys as uh, we see them come across the line now. Finesse is in third position.